President Joe Biden is running for re-election in 2024 and is all but assured the Democratic Party's nomination, as long as he stays in the race. But what if he doesn't? Biden is currently facing growing dissent regarding his handling of domestic and international issues. The White House and Biden's campaign have stressed Bidenomics, the summation of his economic priorities, as the core pillar of his re-election pitch. Yet, prices remain elevated, and inflation has outpaced wage growth for a better part of his three years in office. Meanwhile, the Democratic Party in particular is splintered around the president's support for Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's response to the October 7th Hamas terrorist attacks. This has led to plummeting support for Biden among Arab and Muslim Americans in critical battleground states like Michigan and nationwide protests, including outside of the Democratic National Committee's headquarters in Washington, D.C. Furthermore, Biden would be 86 by the time his potential second term would conclude, leading voters of all political persuasions to question both his physical and mental abilities to perform the duties of the office. Still, despite the negative headlines, the president has emphatically stated his desire to win re-election, if only to prevent former President Donald Trump from regaining the presidency. Would you be running for President Trump wasn't running? I, I expect so, but look, he, he is running and I just, I have to run. Would you drop out if Trump runs out? No, not now. However, should Biden drop out of the race before the convention in August? No matter the reason, any delegates he secures at the state primaries and caucuses would become unpledged, leaving those same delegates responsible for selecting a new nominee.